Storytime, brought to you by Mini. Hello, I'm Kerry, and this is the story of Goldenwing and the Enchanted Tower. Once, there was a beautiful white dove with wings edged in cream feathers, so that when he flew in the sunshine, they glinted like gold. And everyone called him Goldenwing. He lived in a beautiful forest and knew every tree and every story that whispered amongst them. And though Goldenwing was happy flying around the forest, he often dreamed of grand adventures, long fought battles, kings and queens and regal towers. So, one sunny morning, he followed the wind until he spied the sweeping gardens of an old castle. Perching high on a rickety wall, Golden Wing was sure he could hear long lost lullabies on the gentle breeze, feel the presence of wishes hidden in high walls, catch the drifting scent of secret flowers. He flew to the low branch of an ancient tree. From deep inside the gnarled tree trunk, he heard a gentle twit twoo. He sidled closer and saw the wide old eyes of a sleepy owl. She said her name was Queenie. Welcome to Kenilworth Castle, oh, she yawned. Home to many marvellous histories, such as the tale of the Queen's Tower and the story of the Great Siege. Golden Wing was intrigued. What a siege, he cooed. Queenie stretched out her wings and flapped. It was an immense battle that lasted six months, the longest ever in all the land, she said. Golden Wing blinked in amazement. This was the kind of story he loved. Long, long ago, Queenie began, for there was nothing she loved better than a story. Kenilworth was a medieval fortress belonging to the de Montforts. One day, King Henry III attacked the fortress and a terrible sadness fell across Kenilworth. The children stopped singing. The servants stopped serving. The horses stopped galloping. Goldenwing ruffled his feathers. Then what happened? The de Montforts were brave. They gathered crops from the fields and gardens and stored bread and milk in the kitchens. Then they closed the castle doors, keeping everyone safe inside. Did they defeat the king? Gasped Goldenwing. Almost, smiled Queenie. They fought with all they had, but when the winter came, their food ran low. And so the de Montforts agreed to leave Kenilworth with their beloved families and horses. Golden Wing was still for a moment. You can still hear the murmur of the children's farewell lullabies echoing in the corridors, said Queenie gently. Golden Wing remembered the melody he had heard earlier. He stretched his wings, soaring up and across the gardens to shake the sadness away. Queenie flew gracefully beside him. Golden Wing blinked in awe at a soaring tower that rose up in front of them. Does the tower have a story too? He called. Of course, Queenie cooed. Many years later, a fabulous queen called Elizabeth I gave Kenilworth Castle to her best friend, Robert Dudley. Golden Wing's wings beat with wonder. You mean she gave him a castle as a present? Queenie laughed and nodded. It was the most magical gift Golden Wing had ever heard of. Robert was so grateful to the powerful queen that he built this splendid tower to thank her. She was so enchanted that she stayed all summer, wandering over bridges, strolling through the parks, gazing down from her magnificent tower. 
I wish I could peek inside, sang Golden Wing. You can, called Queenie, taking to the skies. Follow me. They flew to a tower windowsill and peered down. Golden Wing felt the scent of secret flowers tickle his beak. Queenie gave him a grin. That's the Queen's special garden, full of her favourite flowers. With a rush and a saw, Golden Wing headed back home. But he knew that one day the royal rooftop of Kenilworth Castle would make a perfect home for a dove with golden wings. A dove like him. For there were so many majestic stories for him to learn, its history would fill his heart forever. <laughs>